prior to the Sochi Games. Today's topic is Obama sending gay athletes to the 2014 Sochi Winter Games. Here's our anchorman who could unfortunately not make it today, but sent us his voice over to tell us background information to you, Jimmy. The creation of the games was inspired by the ancient Greeks. These games were held in Olympia, Greece, from the 8th century BC to the 4th century AD. Baron Pierre de Coubertin founded the International Olympic Committee, IOC, in 1894, leading to the first modern games in Athens in 1896. Ever since the Cold War, Russia, the Soviet Union, have had a feud with the US to be the best country in the world. That is why Russia and US don't get along that well. So, everything the other country does, the other tries to bring aid upon it. Prior to the Soki Games, Russia passed off a law that shut down gay propaganda and didn't allow citizens to protest against it. Many countries opposed to this law because it was not something that a democratic country like Russia would do. Which is so is shocking because Russia is one of the biggest LGBT communities in the world. LGBT stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender. Now back to you Michael. The world's reaction was massive to this law. Countries were furious. Even Germany threatened not to go to the Sochi Olympics just because of this law. Countries and even athletes were opposing the law. Athletes from around the world said they would not participate because the law was not just. The governments were furious and hated this law that was created to keep a certain people under control. The main reactions came from the EU and the Western world. These reactions caused a great discussion in the world. Now here's our co-host Jose with some background information. Thank you, Michael. This law was created to what Russians said, uh, protecting the children, which does not make that much sense. Why protect children from something that is harmless? They, sa they said it was to protect the natural families, so a marriage between a, wo a man and a woman. This law to the, uh, to the LGBT community basically said, you can be gay or lesbian. You, can just, you can't just show uh, it to the world. You have to be secret secretive or else you'll be arrested. This reaction to, the, to this law was massive. Countries and people got so mad at Russia because it, it was blocking basic rights to being able to be an LGBT person. Back to you, Michael. The US was part of a debate on why Russia made this law. It violated basic rights of, hu of a human being. This is where the peaceful protest came into play by Obama and the US government. Obama came out with a speech saying that why Russia's new law was wrong for the LGBT community of Russia. During Obama's speech, he told the world that he would be sending two retired gay athletes to the Olympic Games to show that U.S. is in support of the LGBT community. This gained Obama lots of followers around the globe because everyone liked how the U.S. made a peaceful, nonviolent protest on this law. Now back to you, Jose. Thank you, Michael. No, Obama sending the openly gay athletes caused Russia to question the law which in the end still didn't get the law removed. But by this presentation, you can see what a peaceful pro protest can do. What will Russia do next? Will they revoke the law? Thank you for tuning in on eBlog 5 Minutes News Blast.